Hey everyone, Ava Paul here, and today we're going to be looking at Animated Universe Prowl, part of the Transformers Legacy Evolution line, and this is a deluxe class figure, and it turns into a motorcycle. Now, it kind of looks like the same as, uh, well, if you look at the back anyway, it kind of looks like the same body mold as, uh, Chromia. I could be wrong. I'm just going by what it looks like off the top of my head. I'll probably have to pull my Chromia figure out and put it side by side just to see. So it's going to take 20 steps. And he comes with the same little spinning blade weapons. I guess that's the Evo Fusion. But not bad. 20 steps. And I like the colors. Gold and black. So why don't we go ahead, get it open, and take a closer look. Alright, well here's Prowl. And here's his instruction manual. So it's got the Evolution Green. Really nice. Big size pictures. Yeah, the instructions are taller than him. And, of course, he came with some stuff. Now, he didn't come with much, but he did come with these two little weapon discs. So you can open them. If you hold it. No, oh, geez. It's hard to do because there's little gears inside. Like little a gear maybe I'm not really sure how many but you're supposed to be able to open them by twisting but it doesn't want to open at least not that one let's try this one there we go that that's how it's supposed to be nice and easy each has three little blades on it I don't know why this one's giving me a hard time though that's not cool not cool at all yeah I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, Alright, so you can put him in his hands, except uh, really, only his left hand is good at holding them. The right hand, not so much. They will just fall out easy. If you look, it's because they have, he has two different types of hands. One is a bit more open. Looks like you can hold like something with a peg, like a gun. And then he has one that fits the blade nicely. Which, if you put it in here, it just comes out. I don't know why. They didn't put two of these hands. He doesn't come with any other weapons. So it's not like he has a reason to have a more open one. Or you could just do what I would do is just put them on the legs where they're supposed to go. Pretty nice. It makes him feel, look more full. He's got a nice looking head sculpt. I like that. Looks like the way Prowl would look. And let's see. He has his Autobot symbol right there. And he is mainly black and tan you know a little bit of like gold for like little emblems here the trim on the front of the windshield area down the bottom turn them around you see a little bit more gold there and you see a gas tank oh, that's cool it is a nice looking figure i do like these uh arrows one thing i don't care for about this is uh so his knee, well, I don't know if you, you would really consider this the knee, but like right here, it's pretty high up. But you can also bend it right down here, which I don't like that. So it does sometimes make it a little bit, because I didn't realize this at first when I had the Chromium one. So I couldn't figure out why I can't get the legs to be even. It's because one was like offset like this. But... Now that I know about it, it's not an issue anymore, but still, eh, because it just looks weird, because the knee should be farther down, you would imagine, like, right about there, but instead it's all the way up here, like, right in his thigh, whatever, I guess, it works, still, that head definitely makes it worthwhile, I think there's another Prowl, I'll have to get him, I just don't remember which line he is for, I mean, I know he's of this the uh legacy legacy line i just don't know evolution or i mean i don't know what is it g1 is it prime universe i don't know at least i think there's another prowl i could be wrong which i probably am wrong i guess another thing is these do move quite a bit the uh handle bar area i just want them to stay up not a big issue. I mean, as long as you're not messing around with them, they will stay. They don't fall on their own. It's a good 
like the figure feels good and also there's not like any real waffling going on here there's no spaces except for like inside the arm area but that's on the inside at least it's not on the back so it'd be noticeable and I get it you know the hand has to fold into it so that's why it is the way it is the legs no waffling except for way up here again inner thigh area so good figure good solid they you know used lots of plastic for it so that's good I say lots of plastic it's not like it's that much plastic yeah at least there's not a whole lot of gaps on them some figures are just crazy with that waffling thing it almost seems like if you just pinch it it should just crumble so we can go over some articulation so we got the head you can go all the way around, no problems. You can go up, really nice. Down, no. None of their heads really look down. I mean, it, I guess it does seem like he's looking down if you hold it straight. It, it kind of does, but not really. But he can go. A little wibble wobble action there. I like that. A lot of the figures don't have that. So then we go to the arms. 90 degree out. You can spin all the way around, right up here, we can rotate that, we got the elbow, single jointed, but it still gets a little, just a tiny, teeny tiny bit over 90. Then we got the hands, they will not spin, they only fold in. So not much to really talk about that, but we go to the waist, very easy to turn around. And then we get the legs. Let's move arms out of the way first. Legs go past 180. Whew. Forward. They can go past 90. Backwards. E. Oh boy. I would not want to have to move my leg like that. Forward can go more though. So, not bad. And then up here. We have the turning, then we get the knee, I guess. So that's past 90. It's hard to tell with the wheel and everything. But then we get the bottom port here, and we already saw that can go 90 back, and uh, 90 forward. Then we get the feet. So the feet will go outwards. That's a little bit different. It can also go inward and go down. And it can go up. Not bad, not bad. All right, so we checked out this form. Let's go ahead and transform him and take a look at that. And this is him as a motorcycle. Not bad looking, I like it. It was actually not too hard to put together either. Uh, the one thing I don't like is this kickstand here. It's a little too short. I can see he still has the little weapon pieces on. I mean, you can take them off, but eh, might as well have them on. Why not? See the Autobot symbol there. He's got two different tail light colors. He's got red and blue. So is he like a police vehicle? Is he supposed to be? I'm not sure. You can see his head here. Uh, well, the back of his head. Looks like a little gauges you know for speed and rpm stuff like that a gas tank you got the seat seat so can just lift up not bad the wheels are hmm yeah the front one not so much but the back one spins a little bit freer i mean yours might be different and also probably maybe how i have it together i don't know maybe some pieces are a little too close uh there's some pieces that don't really connect into like this says right here it's supposed to it just kind of sits in there same with this part here just sits against the uh tan color piece but all in all pretty nice looking i don't know why he has a little peg hole there uh he didn't come with anything to go in the peg hole <laughs> but sure he has it all right well that's just been my review of transformers legacy evolution Animated Universe Prowl. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And as always, you all have yourselves a good one, 
and I will see you later.